kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to discuss with you about the new ad mob policy, which is uh, just they have uploaded it. Okay. So basically, they are requesting for the consent from the European users. All right. So un under the Google uh, policy, you must take make certain disclosure to your users in the European economic area. All right, and obtain their consent to use cookies or other local storage. All right. So in this video, I am going to show you how to use the consent SDK inside your Android Studio project. Okay. So here you can see the uh, documentation. Uh, it is written in a very simple English. Okay. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to go to your AdMob account and select the ad technology providers. All right. So I let's open AdMob. So here you can see that I have opened my AdMob and I will sign into the AdMob account. And when I click on the sign in to the ad mob, so this is the home screen, and here you can see to support publishers in complying with the Google's updated EU user consent policy. EU user consent settings are now available. All right, so you need to click on learn more. here you can see there is the option of selecting the ad technology providers so the, the default one is the uh, commonly used providers all right these are the uh, providers so we just need to select this all right and here you can see this is my publisher id and you need to click on save changes all right so after doing that what you need to do okay so you need to copy that into your android studio build.gradle since i already have this inside my build.gradle here you can see okay so i don't need to copy that after that what i can do is uh, i can just copy that and paste it into my build.gradle and here in at the last so instead of the implementation just change it to compile and you are good to go so now click on synchronize now and i will close the window here all right guys so it's the gradle will, will compile and we need to wait for that so after uh, we copy and we add the dependency for the google consent library so here they are saying that if you select well or fever ad technologies okay so they mean that we can select our custom set of uh, technology the technology sorry okay so we in, uh, in this case we are uh, using the commonly used as technologies so after that you don't need all these all right so after that you need to copy the code from there and paste it inside your own create method so just copy that let it finish first Alright, so now it's finished. So let me paste it here. Alright, so I will just press Alt Enter and I will import the libraries. And instead of this publisher ID, I can copy my ID. Alright, and after that, we are now in the on consent info updated. Thank you. 
all right so it is still saying okay so instead of this you can say get application context all right so after that what we can do is okay so now inside our own consent info updated we need to now check if the content status is personalized personalized or non personalized okay so if they are personalized and non personalized so okay so before that we need to check if they if the user is currently in eu i mean in europe or not okay so for that what we can do we can say consent uh, is here if consent information dot get instance get application context dot is request location in eu or unknown not okay if it is sorry all right so if it is false so now here we can check Uh, if the return con uh, consistent consent status is personalized or unpersonalized so here we can check if consent status equals to consent status dot personalized or consent status equals to consent status dot non personalized so here we can say we can forward the consent to the google mobile ads sdk okay so here in uh, so just you need to copy that and paste it here all right so here you need to first of all have your uh, privacy policy url here so before that let's create a new method and just copy that all right and after that just here what a method display form all right which form i am talking about this is the form let me show you this one all right so here we will have the option and we will tell the user that can we continue to use your data to tailor ad for you there will be a couple of options yes continue to see relevant ads no see current ad that are less relevant okay and pay for the ad free version so before that let's display this form so in order to display the form we just need to copy that and here uh, let's create the method all right and inside that method just paste the code and instead of this context you can say get application context all right so now the form here is here and let's try to you need to paste your privacy uh, privacy policy url here so uh, in my case i will not be able to paste it because i don't have any privacy policy url so after that we can uh, load the consent form and also show the con uh, consent form so after the build so here we can say form dot load and form dot show all right so after that that is it i guess okay so if you run the app so the app will uh, the form will not be displayed because we don't have the privacy policy url here all right so we need to first of all create the privacy uh, url and after that just paste it here and your form will always be open when you open your android application all right there is also i guess the thing which i have 
फॉरगोटन ओके दैट इज इट आई गेस तो गाइस इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब गुड बाय